Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new, welcome to the channel. My name's Andy, and you've come across A5 Off-Road. Today, we're in the garage. We are going to be working on the old Can-Am. And what we are doing on the Can-Am today is replacing these brow lights. So I got a set from A and UTV Pro that I'm gonna put on there. And they'll have built-in turn signals. So I have those turn signals there. I'm just gonna tie in the ones in the brow lights for the ones that I got, and we'll have a little more visibility. And this is the turn signals that are the brow lights that I got. Comes with plugs to plug right in, factory plugs. Has the regular lights in it, and then it has the orange turn signals. And it comes with instructions. So we're going to get this. Uh, I think we got to pull that front clip off to get to them. So we're going to do that and get them installed. What do you think? Uh, getting some new hats made. How do you think those turned out? It's a leather patch, black leather with silver underneath it when they engrave it. But I'm going to try and get some of those to offer if anybody's interested. But back to this, we're gonna get these installed. And I'll bring you along for it. Ready? Here we go. All right, first thing I gotta do is start pulling all the bolts out to get this out. Uh, I'm sure everybody's seen that a hundred times, so I'm gonna time lapse this and get the front clip off of here. So that got all the top visible bolts you can see from the outside. Now we got to get down underneath and get those bolts out. So I'll get working on that. got it off pretty sure I made that a lot harder than it needed to be but we are off I think I even have those lights all unbolted I just gotta pull them out of there so let's see if we can do that Woo! there it goes one more clip and we got it off finally All right, now pull these sides off. There's our two pieces. They kind of slide up out of place and then pop off. Two. There they are. They look a lot like these ones. All right, I got them in there. Let's see here. I don't have it all back together yet, but I got the lights in, I got them wired up. I'll show you here. So, if we come around here, turn on our power, that is just the regular running lights. And then if we come back, and we will do the left blinker.
Now, we'll do, let's just do the hazards. That'll blink them all. So, nice upgrade. Um, kind of like the stock ones. The light doesn't go all the way up to the end. Because it's just a bulb that shines up. So, it gets dimmer as it gets to the top. But, as good as what the stock white lights did. Now it just has an orange light in there. And it, it appears that it actually shuts the white light off when the blinker is activated. And then they come back on. So pretty good. I'll get this thing thrown back together and give you my thoughts on it. All right, got it done. I didn't film a lot of putting it back together. Everybody's kind of seen that. It, I fought this thing getting it together, but it turned out it worked good. I've got it all back together. Got them on. That's the hazard lights. So I like it. It goes good with my little lights I already had on the side. Just a little extra. So turned out good. They look exactly like the stock ones. If I turn them off, you wouldn't know the difference. Of what I just did so happy I want to thank a and U T V pro for uh, for getting these me getting me these lights to put in and try out so if you guys need anything for your side-by-side -side, whether it's a can-am Polaris Honda Kawasaki anything you need look up a and U T V pro great prices I've got the lights from them. I've got the fender flares that I did from them. And then I also, uh, if you saw my previous videos, that shift gate, that is very awesome. I love that thing. But good company, good people there. Give them a shout. Look them up. Find them on Instagram. A and UTV Pro. Quality products. Really good prices. But that's it. Um... Next video, hopefully we're out riding. I don't know where we're going in June. Two trips in June. We're going up to St. Anthony's, Idaho. So I'll get some footage of that. And then we're coming home and going down over to Moab to do their Red Rock Rally in Moab. So got some good footage coming in about a month, but a month and a half or so. But we'll keep ripping. We'll keep putting up some footage. If you like this, give me a follow. Give me a like. Let's grow this thing a little more. Um, what do you guys think of little golf cart content? Pick that up, Yamaha, it's a 1992. Um, it needs a little engine work, but it's fun. Little camp cruiser, neighborhood cruiser is what we're looking for with that, nothing special. But I might do a little bit of content with that. The rest will probably be with this thing still. Um, I am gonna do a video, I've got 2600 miles on it i'm gonna do like a a review of that what i broke what i haven't what i like what i don't like on 2600 miles and almost four years of use out of this thing three and a half or something like that but and i'm trying to get some merch if you're interested leave me a comment see uh see if you'd be interested in anything like this Thanks for watching. Get out and ride. Have a good time. We'll see you next time.